the mass pulley system is designed to consist of a two kilogram block A, one kilogram block B, and a four kilogram collar as shown. Given that the surface of contact between the collar and vertical guide is very smooth, and that the system is released from rest, determine immediately at this instant, A, the acceleration of log A, B, the acceleration of collar D relative to block B, and C, the tension in the cable. What happens if the surface of contact is rough? Explain. Which coordinate we are going to use? Here, the motion is vertically downward. So, of course, you are going to use rectangular coordinate. You are not going to use polar coordinate. Let's take positive downward. You can call it Z, you can call it Y, you can call it X. It doesn't matter. And then we are going to put some assumption. You are going to neglect the size of the pulley. We are going to assume that there is no mass of these three pulleys, because if there is mass, there will be inertia. You know, heavier the pulley to rotate is heavy. So we assume there is no mass. And then also the rope, no mass. And then no friction. There's a question here. In the problem, there is no indication of friction. So we are going to assume that her face is smooth, uh, no friction in the pulley, no friction in the pole, and then some more, no air resistance. Air got resistance, but when the motion is slow, you can say that the resistance of air is negligible. And then we take G equal to 9.81 meter per second square. We are going to take convention, the positive downward, and I choose X. Because everything in the problem, you see, it's written in X. So Now write the kinematic equation. So you write everything from this datum reference line. Everything below will be positive. Everything going up, it will be negative. Xa plus 2xd plus xb equal to constant. That constant is supposed to be the length of the cable. Okay. You derive this one differential with respect to time, you have xa dot plus 2xd dot plus xb dot equals zero. So you know that x dot means the rate of x. The rate of x means dx over dt. dx over dt is velocity. So what you write here is equivalent with this one. Va plus 2vd plus vb equal to zero. Why zero? Because constant, if you differentiate with respect to time, it will be zero. You differentiate again this one, you are going to have xa double dot plus 2xd double dot plus xb double dot equals to zero. And we know that in the rectangular coordinate, double dot means differentiate two times with respect to time. That is acceleration. So you have this one. Before we put the formula of kinetics, we are going to draw that free body diagram and kinetic diagram. What are the forces applied to this block A? The block has a weight, two kilograms times G or MA times G. We have the weight, we have the tension, one T. The tension of a rope, when we don't have any friction of the pulley, it will be all the same. Those are the only two forces applied to log A. Now we draw the kinetic part. Let's assume it moves to the positive direction. So I'm going to write like this. That is the kinetic diagram. From here you write, Sigma Fx equal to Ma, where you assume positive is downward. And then you write on the left, positive Wa minus T on the right is positive equal to Ma Aa. Aa equal to G minus T over Ma. Let's go to block B. This is block we have weight, we have tension, one cable, so one tension, one T. You have the weight, WB, going down. 
that's the three body diagram you draw the kinetic diagram just like the previous one it's the same you are going to put positive direction and then you write this one just like previous one you repeat then you express in this case ab and then color d draw the free body diagram the weight but now we have two cables connected so you have 2t you assume there is no friction on the pole if there is friction you need to add depending on the assumption of direction of motion if you assume it moves downward so the friction will be going up but here we put assumption there is no friction so these are the three forces for the kinetic assume downward repeat again sigma f x equal to m a and then you express in this case a b so i have a b a a a d put inside this equation you obtain this one right and then you try to simplify it from here you have the expression of t you can put the values inside so you obtain the value of t the tension is 15.70 newton you can put kilogram meter per second square or newton it doesn't matter now let's see to question a and uh, we want to calculate the acceleration of log a substitute equation number seven into force and replace t here with this So the acceleration of log A is 1.96 meter per second square. Next is acceleration of color B relative to block B. When you find the word relative, it means you calculate each one first and then later you subtract the vector subtraction. So first we need to obtain AB and AD. If we have positive direction, it means going down. If negative, it means going up. So later when you have vector notation, if positive, it means you put I. If negative, you put negative I. From here, you can calculate the value of AB and AD. Put the values. That is AB. You put the values for AD. That is AD. So you have these two in vector form. You see, I just put I. We know now negative means going up positive means going down the acceleration of d relative to b it means acceleration of b minus acceleration b this is the definition of relative in vector so you just put this one minus this one you have that is the acceleration of d relative to b 7.85 i meter per second square what happened if the surface of contact is rough explain if the surface of contact is rough just check which one for example here and then there uh, friction will be created on each surface of contact this friction will oppose the direction of motion. So what happened is that the tension will no longer be the same on each cable. The acceleration of the three bodies will be reduced. 